welcome to the channel. My name is Anna Maria and I will take you through some myths, legends and folklore. And in today's episode I will talk about the Headless Horseman. If you like this episode, please like, comment and subscribe. It will help out the channel a lot. As the name suggests, the Headless Horseman is a man without his head riding a horse. In some stories he has his head with him underneath his arm, and in some stories it is missing completely. The story surrounding him has been around since the Middle Ages, in form of legends and ghost stories. First of all, I'm sorry for pronunciations, I will try my best. In Irish folklore there is a version of the Headless Horseman called Dallan. He is holding his head underneath his arm and is riding a black horse. He can be seen as a demonic fairy or an evil spirit. When he stops riding it means that someone will die. In more modern stories he also has a whip made out of a human spine. In one version called Gan Shan he can be scared away with items of gold. In Scottish folklore there is a tale of a man called Ewan that lost his head in a clan battle on the Isle of Mull. But this story is a little bit different because both the man and the horse are headless when they are haunting. In Germany there are stories in folklore about the headless horseman and they are mostly from Rhineland which is an area in the west of Germany. The horseman could kill someone by simply touching them. The horseman was doomed to walk the earth for their sins, but if they did a kind thing for a stranger they would have some peace. In America this legend came in much later, when Washington Irving wrote The Legend of Sleepy Hollow in 1820. This story has now become a part of the folklore in America through books and Films. The story is set in Sleepy Hollow, New York, in the middle of the American Revolutionary War, and the horseman is a Hessian trooper, which is a German soldier. He was killed in the Battle of White Plains in 1776, where he was beheaded by a cannonball, and he is desperately searching for his head in the afterlife and he is very angry. There is also another story by Maine Reed that was published between 1865 and 1866 called The Headless Horseman, and this one is set in Texas. And that was all for this episode, I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next one!